Guys, we're going to do an omoplata defense here, one of my favorite defenses, okay? Again, we're looking at making what he thinks is a positive into a negative for him and a positive for me, okay? Uh, omoplata is a very uh, popular move amongst jiu-jitsu practitioners. There's a lot of tangents that come off of that, so I need to kind of stay aware of what's going on. I need to know my enemy's tricks, and I need to make them backfire on them, okay? All right, when a guy has me an omoplata, let, let's look at the, uh, the basics of it, all right? He's got me an oval plot of here. What he's trying to do is dump my shoulder to the ground. Ideally, that's what he wants, because once he gets to the ground, go ahead and push and put that leg behind you. This is where I get in trouble, and I tap out. So obviously, the first thing I don't want to happen is my shoulder to go to the ground. I'm going to show you what happens when my shoulder does hit the ground, how to get out. But first, let's see how our shoulders don't, don't go to the ground. Let's have you uh, face. Yeah, right about here, right about here. Okay, guy has me an omoplata, which means shoulder lock, okay? He's here like this, all right? And he's gonna push me down. Obviously, my right hand is gonna grab under my leg for a second, okay? My left hand is my post hand, which is gonna go here, just for a second. So when he's pushing me down, I'm pushing away with my hand, okay? Now I'm gonna lift up my left leg and I'm gonna put it over here. I have to be careful and keep my left hand close to my head. If I don't, go ahead and let go, swivel back to triangle. Look, I'm going to triangle all of a sudden. I don't want that, okay? So when my left hand is close to my head, when he swivels back to a triangle, go ahead. Look, you know what I mean? I block this leg, and I start passing his guard. Or at the very least, he locks close guard on me, but he doesn't get a triangle. So when you're doing a defense against an omoplata, your hand stays close. This is the attack one. He's attacking it. I grab under my leg but my left hand is gonna stay close to my neck. That's what I'm looking for, okay? He's gonna attack the omoplata. I'm in. Bam, look, so I grab. Sit on top of that arm, okay? What, what basically I have is my hand is gonna be under my leg. I'm gonna lock it and I'm sitting on that leg here. My left hand is here, okay? And I'm defending. So my left foot is my post foot. So when he pushes down, push down, I don't go. I don't go. I don't want to go off of here, okay? Now I'm going to try to look for some attacks from here, okay? Attack number one, grab his foot, this foot here, put it in front of my chest here, okay? Turn towards him. Grab his leg. Turn in. I tap the guy out, okay? I grab here. I put that foot in front of my chest. I try to put it on the, the right side of my body, here, okay? Now what I do is I turn towards him and I hug his leg and I tap him, all right? Let's take a look at that from this angle here. He has me here. I'm here, very comfortable here, okay? Sitting on my hand here, in between, okay? Left hand is up here, just in case he comes back for a triangle. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna grab his foot I'm going to feed it as far in as I can to my body. And see, I start to swivel towards him. Now my left hand grabs his leg, and what I'm going to do is hug. And that taps him out right there, okay? A lot of pressure here, okay, like a slicer. He tapped, okay? A lot of times when I do this move, the guy goes, oh, he's attacking my foot. His counter is to unlock, unlock his legs. This will happen a lot, okay? I, he, he still kind of has an omoplata, you know? I'm not out of danger, and I can't grab that foot. Okay, he'll unlock it far away, or unlock it and put it right here, so I can't really reach it. What I'm gonna do now is take my left hand, this is even a better lock for me, because when he unlocks, that's what I was waiting for. I'm gonna take my left hand, and I'm gonna come over, and I'm gonna grab over his toes like this, okay? Now this is important. I'm gonna take my shoulder, and I'm gonna drive towards his stomach, okay? like this. See like this? Okay, so I grab his foot, I drive, and as I drive, I'm going to take his foot and pull it down. It's like a modified toe hold. Look, one, drive, break, okay? If I just do it here, look, sometimes maybe tap, maybe not, take your other foot and push my arm away, okay? All right, so I want to grab, turn towards him. Look, now he's not as flexible. He can't, he can't put his foot on me, okay? And also, this stops the flexibility on him. A little pop there, okay? So lock up again, please. Locked. 
I'm comfortable. Remember, he wants to take my shoulder and put it here. So when he pushes, my left foot is my post, okay? I'm not gonna let him do it. I'm gonna attack, he's gonna unlock, thinking he's safe now. I'm gonna grab his foot, I'm gonna drive down, and I'm gonna break his foot, okay? He's gonna tap out generally, okay? Sometimes what's gonna happen, guys, is I go ahead and lock up again. Everything here looked perfect, okay? I look like uh, I'm ready to attack this foot here, okay? This guy is very flexible. When I go, I try to turn towards him, whatever, um, hard for me to finish this guy, or for whatever reason, I can't turn towards him. My right hand, right here, that's locked, is gonna unlock like this. I'm gonna cup here, okay? I'm gonna lift my hips up, and I'm gonna roll this guy. Look, look, I lift my hips up, and I, I pop him, and I wanna roll him so he ends up on his stomach, okay? And I finish the guy there. Take a look at that move real quick. Very powerful move. This taps people out, very, very strong, okay? Two things are gonna happen. When I roll the guy, uh, if his legs stay locked, I'm gonna tap him out, okay? If they unlock, I'm in a good position, all right? And this also is gonna get you used to another escape. Sometimes a guy's got you normal plata, and uh, if you know anything about jujitsu, uh, you sit up, he's gonna throw his hips that way and try to take you over. And you need to be able to immediately, as he throws you, you throw him also, okay? So I time it. The guy's gonna throw me, I'm gonna throw him too. And I'm not gonna probably finish him, but I'm gonna scramble out of danger. I don't want this guy to end up on top, okay? Uh, so anyways, he's got me normal plata. Look at my leg, look at my leg. Up, just like the Kimura escape, grab, down. And my handle was here, keeping him from pushing me down. Gets replaced by my foot, and now I sit back. And I'm very comfortable. Attack number one. Attack number two. And now one more. I grab the guy here. Guy's kind of, I'm having trouble putting the foot in deeper, or grabbing, or he's flexible. I unlock my right arm, cup this guy. Now what I wanna do is pop his hips off the ground using my hips, and I wanna rotate him so that he falls flat. If I don't turn with him, I'm gonna fall in a, a weird way. But when I lift up in the air and turn this way, this is what I want. Now when I land here, I'm gonna keep this move, and I'm gonna put pressure, and it's gonna break the guy's leg and ultimately that's what I want. So he started off with an attack on me and I'm finishing off with a better attack on him. That's what I want. Go ahead. From this angle here, just to get a good look at it. Again, my left hand grabs, it's kind of locked. Right hand, like I showed, is gonna cup. Right in here, cups him. I'm gonna pop my hips up in the air. I'm gonna turn towards him, end up here. Put some weight on that. See? And I break his leg. Right arm out, doesn't matter. I'm gonna break this guy in a good uh, calf slicer here. That's how I wanna finish. Guys, despite my best plans to uh, avoid that, that shoulder lock, the omoplata, sometimes my shoulder gets dumped on the ground. And my defense cannot stop on what I think is gonna work, okay? It has to continue against eventualities that might occur, okay? Uh, there's a couple of different escapes from this one. I'm gonna show you my favorite, okay? Go ahead. He's got me an old plot of here, right? And this guy, like what he's gonna do, he's not, he don't, don't even lock your legs. What he's gonna do is take his left leg and he literally like kicks it down, bam, like here. Look, I'm in trouble here, okay? He's gonna do a hurdler stretch, you know? And he's gonna start to sit up. And if I don't react now, I'm in trouble. What I don't wanna do is put my head this way, okay? I know a lot of guys do that because they wanna limp arm out. But sometimes if it's caught, you're not gonna limp arm out. They'll, put, they'll try to put you in guard, limp arm out, okay? I'm gonna try to see uh, what's gonna work the way his body is moving. He's sitting up to me to break my shoulder. His base is not good, okay? It's only good because my shoulder, you know, the way it's positioned, I can't get out. But as he sits up, what I'm gonna do is take my head, face him, my left arm is gonna shoot through. My left knee is gonna shoot through so that my base collapses to that side. I'm gonna go to this side, I'm gonna have no base to this side, and as he sits up, he's gonna start to come over me. So he's sitting up, he's sitting up. 
I'm out. Let's take a look at that one more time. Get over here. Remember, what he wants to do from the omoplata is to, is to, to finish me, okay? Um, by sitting, on, sitting up and breaking my shoulder. I have to go with the flow on this one. If I try to resist it once my shoulder's down and I try to turn away from them or, or just sit there in the same position and fruit, you know, I mean, if I'm a strong guy and he has an omoplata and I can sit up like this and I can stand up and he'll be hanging off my arm and, and I slowly shake him off, great move, okay? But what happens when the guy equally as strong as me, stronger than me or with good technique, hammers my shoulder towards the ground and I'm not getting back up, okay? I have to have an answer for this and so far this is one of my favorite moves. When you turn into him, your left hand, if he's attacking your right arm, is gonna grab his leg, his right leg right under it. And the reason for doing that is A, it's gonna help carry him over, but equally as important, uh, this guy maybe knows this defense, and when he comes over, if I'm not careful, again, he's gonna do a triangle, because he's gonna stop by basing out, and then he's gonna triangle me. My hand on his leg, right under his knee or under his thigh, right there, pushing him past me, okay? Keeps him from triangling me, and it keeps his momentum to go forward past as far as he wanted to go to finish me. He's got me in the whole plot of move, like this. He's dumping me down, look, look. I'm gonna put my head on the ground, my left hand's gonna grab this leg. I'm gonna turn. See here? I'm, I'm holding right here. Because if I don't, and I have nothing here, as I come up, I'm sitting up right into a triangle. And I don't want that. Let's take a look at that one more time, okay? Hope I'm making sense here to everybody, all right? Remember, I'm gonna go deep under him. I'm gonna go deep under him as he sits up to finish me. Look, no base, because the way his leg is, there's no base over there, okay? If he does base out with this leg, it's gonna create a gap, and I can maybe get my arm out. My left hand is grabbing under this leg when I do this, and I'm not, I grab, I don't let go here. I keep turning my body, because he's sitting up under him deeper, deeper. Get to here, see here? Now what I'm gonna do is go all the way to my knees and my left hand is gonna go inside, okay? Because I don't wanna get caught in a triangle. I'm here. Not a problem. Okay, so let's, do, let's look at that one again. He's coming over, attacking me, head on the ground, turn into him, grab the leg. Defend it against simple plata like that. Guys, we're gonna do a, an escape from a key lock today, okay? This is one of the most basic moves that you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of it for beginners to advanced. People like to do a key lock, okay? Of course, the key lock is like this, figure fouring his arm, lifting his elbow up and dragging his knuckles back. Gonna break his shoulder and the elbow, okay? So you're gonna attack those two, two areas of his body, all right? It is so important that you know how to get away from this because whether you're a beginner or advanced, you need to know the tricks to get out, all right? Um, being advanced, sometimes you're tired or you're getting hit a lot. The guy, even if he's like a, not a good grappler as you, he knows this move and he's gonna put this move on you, and you might be a black belt of jujitsu, and the guy is not very, even that great, but you've been pounded a little bit, and you put your arm in the wrong position to defend, and the guy's bigger than you. You know, you're hitting, you know, the guy comes up, ah, the guy only knows this move. Oh my God, I have it, he's gonna tap you out, okay? You don't want that to happen, all right? You have to be able to do the escapes on instinct, when you're hurt, when you're tired, no matter what, okay? And you just, you have to make, uh, to get out of this so you live a little longer, maybe to win the fight, okay? Or win the grappling match. Let's take a look at this and, and take a look at how some of the escapes look. It's obvious that if, if I haven't locked this down right away, I'm here, see my elbows cut out here, and I'm trying to get to here, and you want to straighten your arm, that's fine, okay? You get your arm out of there, and then you bring it back inside, and, and you're defensive again, okay? Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The escape we're gonna be doing today is when you're in trouble, okay? 
That guy has it deep. You want to straighten your arm, you're not going to straighten your arm. You know you're in a lot of trouble, okay? Let's take a look at the mechanics of it. Again, we're going we're gonna to use a good jujitsu to get out. We're going to use the guy's strength against him, all right? Everything here for me looks really good. I'm here, here. What I'm going to do is start to turn it, okay? What, what, what you want to do on the bottom is uh, you're going to punch through this way and you're gonna turn to your knees. You're gonna keep your feet on the ground. It's important your feet are on the ground. You're gonna be using me as if I was a wall that you're pushing off of and scooting that way. It's really important you guys don't just scoot to the side, but physically scoot down and then to, towards me, okay? Don't scoot away from me, scoot towards me. Sometimes, you know, the guy, uh, if you can scoot away from me, that means I'm not doing the position correctly, okay? And if you turn, if you turn sideways, I'm probably going to let go of that and hit an arm bar. You're going to give your back or, you know. And besides, I'm, I've got a lot of weight on you. This isn't a small guy on top of you. This is a big guy on top of you. Look, his weight's on the shoulder. You're not going to turn that way, you know, when I have this. You're just not going to do it. You're going to try to do it. He's going to keep his weight back here. He's going to tap you, okay? So what I want you to do is take this arm punch it through and straight this way, right by your head. Your inside arm is going to keep close to your body when you do this escape. Don't have it up here, don't have it out here, don't have it here. It has to be part of your post and it has to be out of your way to escape, okay? It stays inside like this, hand close to you, okay? This hand's going to punch through this way. You're going to walk away and turn in towards me, making a fist and using my strength to get out. That's what's going to carry you this way, all right? It's going to look like this. One, two, I start to go. Look, 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 look. All the way to your knees, all the way to your knees. And now, look, I'm in trouble because I have to go back to you now. You're at my back. So the longer I hold on to this, the more trouble I'm going to be in, okay? One more time. Remember guys, scoot that way and immediately go to your knees. Punch through hard, okay? Go. I'm in trouble now. Look, he's behind me, I'm scrambling, all right? One last one, all right? Go ahead and drill this one. Have your partner start off in a good position. See my elbow? Close to your neck, okay? Everything's perfect. What you're gonna do is punch through and scoot down simultaneously. Use my strength. Even if I'm dragging your arm back, you have to punch through, punch through, punch. look, 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 look. As a matter of fact, it makes it easier if the guy's trying to really finish the move. Because if you think about it, he's dragging you this way, and where do you want to go anyways? You want to go that way. So you start to punch through, and you drag. You're one step ahead of him, so he never catches up and breaks your arm. He's cranking it this way, you're going to scoot that way a little quicker than he can even crank, punch your arm through, get to my back, you're out of the bad position, you're in a good position.